The Christos pregame coaches report as Marist gets ready to take on Loyola inside the McCann Center this evening alongside the Marist head coach Brian Georges. My name is Jeff Brawl and you're listening to the Christos pregame coaches reports brought to you as always by Christos Restaurant located next to the McCann Golf Course here in Poughkeepsie. Christos is your home for fine dining and catering coach. It was a, a very good way to get the team's 12th straight win against Manhattan the other day from the opening jump. I mean really Manhattan got the first pass in the game but after that 10-0 run, and from the opening jump, your game plan seemed to work, and the team took it to the Jaspers in every phase of the game. Well, I, I think the biggest thing was that we took care of the basketball. Uh, they had been forcing 22 turnovers a game. Mm -hmm. Their defense generates a lot of their offense, and, you know, we were able to make the extra pass. We used pass fakes, um, you know, gapping, you know, zone gapping principles and stuff to be able to get good looks. And the thing I thought was important is that they weren't quick looks mm -hmm. and it made them have to work defensively, which since they don't use a lot of people, you know, I think helped wear them down. You tell, told me before the game, you know, in dealing with Manhattan's 1-3-1 zone, that passing and accurate and efficient passing is so important to the team's success. So what happens? Elise Karan comes out, career-high nine assists. Christine Best contributes three off the bench with no turnovers. How important was the, the high-level point guard play? to breaking apart the Manhattan zone? Well, again, they were outstanding. They, they're kind of the unsung heroes and don't get a lot of credit for what they do. But when you go in at halftime up 17 and there's nine assists and no turnovers by your point guards, you know, you know you're playing good basketball. And, um, you know, Brandy Gang was a benefit of a lot of those passes. And Erica, Corey, a lot of people made shots and Kelsey Bainan did a great job off the bench. So again, we get contributions from a lot of people and just played a very good basketball game. Yeah, really easy to look at the offense. You know, Brandy Gang, 17 in the first half on 7 of 8, shooting Corey Yard, Erica Allen's back in double figures. Talk about Kelsey off the bench, Emma O'Connor off the bench, played a nice game. But the defense was strong as well. It, it was on both ends of the floor that the team got done against Manhattan. I thought we did. And again, with them, you know, we forced them to really have to use a lot of the shot clock. And a couple of times, um, you know, we had shot clock violations or had them take tough shots. Um, so I thought we did a very nice job on them defensively, especially their, their key players. Um, and uh, I think it allowed us when we did have a little drought here or there, um, you know, to keep us right where we were at because we were shutting them down on the other end. Well, team's playing well with a tough opponent on tap in the Loyola Greyhounds. Loyola, their, their only Mac loss up to this point was against Maris down in Baltimore a couple weeks ago. They're a very, very solid team. Not necessarily a deep team, but their starting five can match up with really anybody. Oh, they can, and their guard play is, is unbelievable. Three of the best guards in the league. Um, you know, we're going to have our hands full just like we did down there. And, you know, we've got to play better than what we did down there. They miss shots. And we missed shots, too. I think Erica and Coriel were both 4 for 12 in the game. Um, you know, we've got to take advantage of our size, mm -hmm. and we have to, um, again, do a better job of keeping them off the offensive boards and um, doing a better job of hedging and making it difficult for them. They like to use a lot of on-the-ball screens. I think this time they're going to try to post up our guards more mm -hmm. um, because they have size in their guards. So it'll be a great matchup. You mentioned expecting perhaps the guards getting posted up more. This is the second time that Maris is playing well. The first time for the for the double dips in the max season this year. How do you expect that to change the game? Well, um, I just hope we keep doing what we've been doing because it's it's not like we haven't seen guards try to post our guards up, and and we have a certain series of things that we do when that happens. And Manhattan yesterday had much bigger guards than we had and tried to post them up, and they really weren't very successful. I think we fouled one time on it, and that was it. They didn't score. Loyola posted up us up a couple of times down there, and, and they didn't get anything out of it. So um, hopefully we continue to do the same things and continue to keep playing well, and hopefully we keep shooting the basketball well like we have in the last two games. Yeah, close to 50% in the last two games. Maris head coach Brian Georges, the guest in the Christos pregame coaches report. As always, thank you for the time, and good luck getting another W against Loyola. Thank you, Jeff. We've got more to come after this. We've got Julianne Biani coming up next, so stay tuned. You're listening to Maris Women's Basketball on GoRedFoxes.com.